It's quite the find. Hello friends and welcome back to Crow's Thrifty Finds. My name is Melanie. So this week's video was one that I did not plan on making, but it's one of those videos that are based on something random that happens in your week that causes you to feel the need to make one. So, uh, so earlier this week, I had something happen that was a little disturbing and I wanted to share it with you all just in hopes that it does not happen to you also. Um, so it's kind of a cautious tale, I guess you could say. So sit down, everybody. Find yourself a comfort item because it is story time. And I'm going to tell you a tale of what happened to me at the beginning of this week. So I discovered on, um, it was either Monday or Tuesday, I'm trying to remember, but one of the, one of the two days, uh, that I had been logged out of eBay at some point and I was unaware and here I am just going about my day thinking that my store was being really quiet and maybe some of you might ask well Melanie don't you send offers or like check on your eBay store and typically I do but here's the thing uh, well, two things. One, eBay has gone back to that awful um, percent offer option, and now the only way to avoid that, just in case anyone isn't aware, you can you can avoid it, um, but you have to basically go through your whole store, like individually, and then you can send offers that way. Otherwise, you're stuck using that new offer menu where you can put an offer in on a bunch of items at the same discount, and, and, and I don't know about you all, but I don't I don't run that way. <laughs> like I do not, I do not offer the same price discount on every single item because it depends on the item. So this is a change that the eBay app has made that I absolutely cannot stand. And they had it around for a little bit and then they took it away and then they brought it back. I don't know why they brought it back. I cannot stand it. But because of that, it's made me a little less motivated to send offers because it's more of a pain now to do. And on top of it being kind of a pain to do, I, I'm going to be completely transparent. Like I've been feeling really depressed like the last couple of weeks. Like life has been a little difficult or at least it feels a little difficult. It feels a little heavier. And I mean, it's not a big deal. I'm not looking for pity or anything like that. Like I just have been a little depressed. And so therefore my motivation level to do more than the absolute minimum with eBay just wasn't there. So to go back to my story, uh, so all of a sudden, one day I decided that I was going to send offers and I learned that I was logged out against my knowledge. And when I logged back in, I had a bunch of sales. I had a bunch of questions. I had a return request. I, I had all this stuff that was just getting completely ignored. Now, fortunately, nothing was so behind that it was late. Uh, for shipping, but it was like, I needed to ship this immediately. Like normally you have some time to like find the item and, you know, box it up. But, but this was like, you need to ship this today or it's going to be late type deal. So I went at least two days without being aware that I was logged out on eBay. And that was just unimaginable. Like that's, I, I can't, I, I can't figure out how it happened. I encourage you all to check your eBay frequently just to make sure that you don't get logged out because I did not log out of eBay. I never log out of eBay, but for whatever reason, somehow I was logged out. So I'm not very happy with eBay for doing that. I don't know why it happened. I don't know if it happened to any of you. Um, I tried to reach out on the eBay thrifters group uh, and unfortunately everybody was a bunch of jerks and I didn't actually get any real answers. It was just people bullying me for not being on my eBay store more often. It's like life happens, people like this, you know, depression happens like and, and you're doing the bare minimum. So bare minimum for me was waiting for that sale and shipping it. But I just didn't know it was happening. And I was doing something that was a little abnormal to begin with for me. So please judge nicely, you know, folks, because, you know, this is not my typical behavior. But yes, I am a mental health counselor. So if we don't address mental health, um, we're hypocrites, you know, <laughs> so it, it's important to know it, it's just normal to feel depressed. And you're not alone if you feel depressed. But, but yeah, it's just been it's been rough for me lately. And and, you know, I just haven't 
been working as hard at eBay as I normally do. Plus, it's my side hustle. I have another job that's been a little overwhelming on top of it. So it's just a lot, a lot going on. And yes, so I hadn't been very motivated to to sell, I mean, to sell, to list either, you know, which is, you know, a way that I would have learned I was, I was offline, but listing feels even harder than sending offers. I'm sure many of you would agree on that. So if you're not feeling motivated to send offers, you're probably not motivated to list either. So yeah, there was just no, I wasn't doing anything with eBay, just waiting for sales that had apparently come, <laughs> but I didn't know. So I got really lucky that I did log in and, and, you know, was able to get to the, to the sales and get them sent out. But I feel really bad because the return, you know, had tried to message me about it and I just wasn't responding. So what a scumbag I probably looked like, right? Like, but I just, I, I apologized profusely to them and explained to them that I had gotten logged out and I didn't know and I'm, I'm sorry. And, you know, this was a difficult buyer to begin with. I just had a feeling there was going to be a problem with this item. And sure enough, there was. Um, but I mean, that, seems to be taken care of. Good. The good thing is eBay approves returns automatically anyways. Um, so it wasn't in the end really all that big of a deal and they did not leave me negative feedback, at least not thus far, but it would have really sucked if they had because I didn't even know that I had a message or any return requests from them because I was unknowingly logged out of eBay. <laughs> so I encourage you all please check your eBay. Uh, make sure that it's logged in at the very least. <laughs> and and if you have the opportunity to rate that new feature of the offers, I did at one point see like a little thumbs up, thumbs down kind of evaluation. And I just kind of click through it quickly. But if, if you get the opportunity, like definitely, if you don't like it, give it the thumbs down. Don't skip through it like I did. Um, I just wasn't even really paying close attention. But yeah, but this was, you know, partly my fault. I, I am partly to blame for not checking into my eBay. So I will admit fault to that. But I did not log me out of eBay. So why that happened, I really don't know. Um, but I just hope it never happens again and that it doesn't happen to anybody else. And it was just some weird isolated incident that happened to me. So that's basically the the end of the story, but it's a cautionary tale. Do make sure that it does not happen to you and that you miss sales and it puts you behind or that you're not communicating with buyers and just all this, all this stuff. So it just, you know, obviously it makes you look bad. So I was lucky that I got out of it unscathed uh, relatively, but I'm a little traumatized from that. But that is going to be it for the video for this week. I thank you all for watching. Please do like and subscribe. Uh, that really is helpful. That will make me feel better. <laughs> like the video, subscribe to the channel if you haven't. And my name is Melanie and this is Crow's Thrifty Finds. I'll see you next week.